Hello everyone, uh, today we will uh, cover a topic that comes under communication, education and technology that is one of the type of AVAD that is a commonly used AVAD uh, known as chalkboard. Chalkboard is otherwise uh, known as blackboard. Uh, so we will see the introduction. Chalkboard it is the oldest and traditional uh, method of uh, teaching uh, with the help of AVAD and uh, uh, this is the symbol uh, uh, reusable uh, universally acceptable uh, method and uh, this is the best friend of the teacher uh, to take the classes. Myself also very interested to take class with the help of a chalkboard and uh, we will see what is the meaning. So chalkboard uh, if you see blackboard and a piece of uh, uh, chalk piece is uh, uh, needed for a teacher to take the class in a classroom. So chalkboard it is a uh, dark surface on a wall or a frame uh, the teacher can take the class with the help of uh, uh, chalk piece uh, and uh, the teacher can deliver the class. So this will uh, motivate the students and the students can able to uh, gain a concrete uh, concept or ideas from the teaching. So next we will see what is the characteristics of chalkboard. Uh, characteristics uh, the chalkboard has to be made uh, 5 meter to 6 meter and uh, uh, this has to be uh, the surface has to be rough enough uh, to write on the uh, chalkboard uh, next this has to be in a dull in order to prevent the glare uh, while writing on the chalkboard and the chalkboard has to be uh, rub immediately after the writing with the cloth or the foam uh, uh, duster and the chalkboard has to be mounted on the wall with adequate height level of the teacher and it should be 8 feet away from the first row of the first, uh, first row of the uh, students in the classroom and this will, this will helps to adequately visible and the chalkboard has to be cleaned every time after the class and each year it has to be uh, remodified and this will be benefited for the students and for the teacher while taking the class. So next we will see what are the types of chalkboard. So types of uh, uh, blackboard if you see there are mainly uh, two types are there one is uh, fixed uh, another one is portable one. Fixed means uh, the blackboard had, can be fixed on the uh, wall with uh, frames or with the uh, cemented and uh, another one is uh, uh, portable one. Portable one uh, if you see the blackboard on e cell. So this can the board will be portable and it can be adjustable and the board is uh, placed on the e cell and this can be uh, the classes can be taken outside uh, from the classroom also like field also we can take the uh, classes. Next, uh, uh, next is blackboard on the roller. So the blackboard is uh, made of canvas and it, it will be uh, placed in a roller. Whenever used we can open it and uh, whenever not used we can uh, roll it and we can keep it safely. And uh, uh, next we will see what are the surfaces of the uh, chalkboard. Surfaces if you see paint coated uh, uh, pressed cement uh, surface is there, uh, dull uh, uh, coated uh, uh, plastic surfaces is there, victorious uh, uh, coated uh, steel surfaces are there, ground glass uh, based uh, surfaces also is there in the chalkboard. Uh, next we will see uh, what are the uh, different colors of chalkboard. Uh, if you see uh, commonly used uh, chalkboard is uh, blackboard is commonly used in the blackboard any type of uh, uh, colors we can use other uh, type of uh, color chalkboards are there green color, red color, grey color, yellow color uh, types of uh, uh, chalkboard are there. So in this type of chalkboards uh, suitable uh, colors uh, uh, chalk pieces has to be selected in order to display on the chalkboards while we are taking the class. So you can remember commonly used uh, uh, chalkboard is blackboard. Next we will see what are the skills that is needed while uh, taking the class with the help of chalkboard. So uh, the while writing on the chalkboard the letter should be simple, clear, legible and each word appropriate space has to be uh, kept and uh, we should not over writing uh, on the word and overcrowding uh, sentence or letters uh, should not be kept and upper, upper top and bottom uh, adequate space has to be uh, given and the board can be divided in uh, three uh, columns 
uh, first columns we can write the objectives or the heading and subheadings, middle we can uh, take the content for the lecture classes, uh, last division uh, we can go with uh, uh, spellings or any uh, uh, important uh, points. And uh, uh, next whenever we are uh, writing on the board, uh, we should not speak. Uh, then next after writing the board we should not block the board we should not stand in front of the board we should away from the uh, board uh, then we can continue the uh, lecture class uh, uh, by discussing the uh, students uh, next uh, we have we should not use the lower border of the uh, um, chalkboard this will not be visible uh, at the uh, la uh, last row of the students and uh, uh, when we are uh, uh, using the letters uh, we can uh, uh, go with uh, uh, like a 6 uh, centimeter to 8 centimeter letter size can be used and the straight manner we can use from one side of the board to the other side and we have to stand on uh, one side of the uh, board and immediately after the writing we have to rub the board and we can go with the uh, diagrams uh, uh, schematic representation graphics uh, uh, pictorial representations and uh, always uh, we have to remember proper spelling has to be right in the board and we have to think ahead uh, plan ahead before uh, writing in the uh, board then next uh, we can go with subheading headings uh, uh, can be noted uh, and uh, answers and questions uh, solving the problems uh, for that we can use the board and the rubbing has to be from uh, 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 vertical uh, side uh, top to bottom and uh, this will avoid the allergy formation for the uh, teachers and spread of uh, uh, chalk, chalk allergy for the student also and 8 feet away from the first row the board has to be uh, placed and immediately after the class the board has to be cleaned and it has to be early service. So, these are the main uh, skills uh, uh, the teacher has to be uh, have a hand while she is uh, she or he is taking the class. The next we will see what are the advantages of chalkboard. So, advantages uh, of uh, chalkboard it is one of the uh, universal uh, uh, teacher fr friendly. So, the teacher will be benefited with the chalkboard and uh, the different colors can be uh, used uh, diagrams, pictures can be used. Uh, the complex uh, content can be explained in a uh, simple way. No electricity is needed. Uh, anytime we can uh, use the uh, uh, blackboard, uh, only adequate lighting is uh, essential. And uh, when we uh, when we the del deliver the uh, content in the classroom, students can easily uh, understand the main points uh, from the uh, uh, blackboard. The student will be always hand in hand with the teacher's uh, lesson plan and uh, 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 here uh, inexpensive and economically it is uh, uh, good for the institution and for the teachers for preparation of the ABA. And uh, next uh, uh, thing is uh, disadvantages, what are the disadvantages? Disadvantages this will be in a uh, oldest form, monotonous form, uh, students sometimes it can be boredom uh, by uh, seeing always the uh, chalkboard method and the content whatever written uh, the data cannot be uh, stored. Uh, manner. So, uh, big group uh, peoples we cannot go with the uh, chalkboard type of uh, uh, class. Uh, moving uh, pictures, uh, moving uh, uh, ideas cannot be uh, shown through the uh, chalkboard. So, these are the uh, major uh, disadvantages. Uh, next we will see as a uh, nursing tutors. Uh, so, we are uh, always uh, uh, given a, a, a lecture classes with the students maximum chalkboard has to be utilized and the whatever the skill is uh, needed that has to be uh, taken by a uh, teacher and it has to be delivered to the uh, students. So, today class we have seen about uh, uh, chalkboard what is the meaning, what is the uh, characteristics, uh, what are the uh, skills needed to do the uh, presentation of lecture classes and as we have seen advantages and disadvantages. So, I am signing off Mrs. Nima, next video we will meet again. Thank you.